The ultimate guide to ethnic rhinoplasty. Ethnic rhinoplasty ensures your nose looks natural with respect to your ethnicity. This just means that your nose looks natural with who you are. The ethnic rhinoplasty procedures do vary a bit based on skin thickness, nasal structure, and other factors. Of course it would, there's so many different ethnicities of who we are and everyone is gonna be different. I'm a pioneer in ethnic rhinoplasty research through the American Academy of Facial Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery. I can't stress enough about the importance of finding a plastic surgeon with plenty of experience. Here's a quick guide. What is ethnic rhinoplasty? Ethnic rhinoplasty is a special type of rhinoplasty that focuses on preserving a patient's cultural identity, ensuring that their nose looks natural with respect to their ethnicity. Because of genetic factors, different ethnicities have unique facial bone structures and skin qualities, and not all plastic surgeons know how to work with them without erasing a, a face's natural character. This is one of the reasons why I love being a facial plastic surgeon. I get to have a conversation with people about who they are, how they see themselves, and how they want the world to see themselves. We really get to talk about very deep things as far as what they look like and what they want to look like, and what does that mean to them, and what does that mean within their family, their ethnicity, their culture, you know, and to make sure we're on the same page, because this is very important. It's important for the rest of their life, and it's something very special that I get to have that conversation with them. So I feel very strongly that you should be able to have that conversation and that you should have that conversation before making a permanent change to something that's so important. Do I need an ethnic rhinoplasty or a traditional rhinoplasty? Both traditional and ethnic rhinoplasty continue to be amongst the most sought after plastic surgeries and for good reason. As the central feature of the face, the nose attracts a lot of attention. Reshaping or resizing the nose can have a dramatic impact on a person's facial attractiveness as a whole, bringing all of the features into a better proportion and increasing a patient's self-confidence in life. So when we say a regular rhinoplasty and an ethnic rhinoplasty, bottom line of this is that the plastic surgery books were made based on European standards. And so whenever we talk about beauty standards, it is unfortunate that those are among a very small percentage of the world. And so luckily, but slowly, the plastic surgery community is coming to understand that and change what those beauty standards are and be able to have open conversations about what that means. And so when you say ethnic rhinoplasty versus traditional rhinoplasty, it should just be rhinoplasty for the nose that you're looking for. This is what it should be. We still attach this to it because you do need to find somebody who is thinking about it that way. So our beauty standards are changing, but they have not caught up with what they really should be at this point. So the bottom line is we want you to look like yourself, no matter where you're from. You know, if you're a Caucasian descent, African, Asian, Latino, you know, Eastern European, Western European, Middle Eastern, whatever that is, we want you to be beautiful and look like yourself. And changing your nose doesn't mean that you don't want to look like yourself and you don't want to look like that. You just want to look like yours, you know, you just want to look a little bit more refined. It's important to realize that far from all facial plastic surgeons are trained in ethnic rhinoplasty and far from all plastic surgeons are trained in having these conversations and, and wanting to. Now, at your initial consultation with a surgeon, look at the before and after photos and do they have someone that looks like you and do you have someone that looks like what you want to look like? That's very important. Do they have experience with you and your skin and your face? What are some special techniques used for an ethnic rhinoplasty? Ethnic rhinoplasty techniques take into consideration differences you know, in skin thickness, in bone structure, in cartilage density, distribution, scarring potential, and making things look the way that you want them to look within that person's face and within that person's aesthetic. I customize each surgery to the individual patient and combine various methods to achieve the best possible results. The facial skin heals very well. And even in patients who have a history of keloids or hypertrophic scarring, the incisions are placed in areas without tension, and if they're closed meticulously, can heal that you difficult to see. This is especially important for ethnic rhinoplasty as scarring can be different on darker skin tones than it is in lighter skin tones. Patients of certain ethnicities may also have thicker skin envelopes, and this can be different in achieving the appearance that you want to achieve. The solution is not to aggressively remove more skin, more tissue. Um, this can result in an asymmetric or ill-defined nose. You have to choose your techniques based on that person's anatomy, whether it's the skin, the cartilage, um, to achieve what they want. 
Instead, I, I reshape the nasal cartilage using grafts and special suturing techniques. I sometimes also use dermal fillers like Juvederm and Restylane instead of or after ethnic rhinoplasties to lift the tip of the nose, enhance the area around the nose, or correct humps or bumps along the bridge or near the brow line. Chin augmentation and chin implants are also commonly done at the same time as ethnic rhinoplasty in order to bring the whole facial profile into better alignment. Chin augmentation can be achieved either by the injection of a dermal filler or by placing a biocompatible implant placed over the patient's natural bone. Do I need an ethnic rhinoplasty surgeon near me? While many plastic surgeons perform rhinoplasty, ethnic rhinoplasty is a very particular specialization, so patients may wish to travel to their desired surgeon just to ensure they have the best in the business working on them. And my comprehensive facial plastic surgery practice in Houston is not uncommon for us to have patients flying in from elsewhere for ethnic rhinoplasty. Have questions? I'm always happy to hear from you. Email anytime. Thanks for watching.